Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Google Chrome Inspect tools to write custom CSS for your WordPress site. Now if you're a Firefox user and you prefer to use their development tools, you can download Firebug at getfirebug.com. I'll also note that if you're a Safari or Internet Explorer user, they have their own set of web tools. I'm not very familiar with them, but there's plenty of documentation online if you're interested in using one of these instead of Chrome. I'm most familiar with Chrome, so I'll just get started and show you what I can do. Okay, as you can see here, we've got a site up and running with the Virtue Bold Child theme. Everything's pretty much done, but let's say I want to make a customization to this image menu. As you can see, we've got a nice blue hover effect that's uniform across all these images. But let's pretend that we want to change this one and make it stand out from the rest. Change that hover effect to something more representative of the color of those boots. The first thing we're going to do is right click and hit the inspect button and that will open up the elements area of the Google Chrome inspect tools. Now you can see we've selected a div with the class home message and you can see all the styling over here on this side. All the CSS styling of the hover state of the image since that's when we clicked inspect is being shown and as you can see right here that blue color is coming from the background color property. Now if we want to change that background color to something different, we'll hit plus, and as you can see it's brought up the home message class, but we need to select its hover state, so we'll do a colon and then hover, we can hit tab, and we'll find the background color and change it to something like orange. Now let's test and see if that CSS is working out. Great but it's affecting all of the other home message elements, so we need to figure out a way to make it a little more specific. And I'm going to tone that color down a bit just so we can still see the image and it looks better. Just pull the transparency over and let's check it out. Okay, that'll work. Okay, so if we want to make it specific to only that image menu item, what we'll have to do is go into the HTML here and just find, us, find ourselves a class or an ID that's specific to an element that is a parent of that image menu item. So let's go up and it looks like this div right here is wrapping it and no other image menu items. So let's try pulling this ID right here. Panel 107010. So we'll copy that just in case it doesn't show up on this side. And we'll hit plus to add a new CSS rule. And it looks like it's already selected that ID for us so we don't have to paste anything. Now I'm sure you'll notice that the CSS you've previously written is no longer showing up in the style side. That's quite alright. Whenever we add a new CSS style, this inspector style sheet link is going to appear. And if we double click that, it'll take us to the previously written CSS. Now let's see, if we want to make this more specific so it's only affecting that one image menu item, we're going to pull this parent ID, just copy it right there, and hit Ctrl or Command V to paste it. And be sure that you have a space between each selector in your CSS, otherwise the browser won't read it correctly. Now let's test, since we've got the parent ID in front of all of the other selectors, see if this CSS is only affecting that image. All right, we've got the orange there, and we've got the blue there. Great, that works perfectly. But I don't know, maybe I want this image to have some as well, have that same orange hover effect. We can also change the speci specifications and get a parent ID from both of those elements. So let's go back here and we'll just do the same thing. We'll just go up and up and up until we find a parent that contains both of those. And it looks like it's going to be this div with the ID of PG107. So let's hit new style rule again. Go back to the inspector sheet. Copy this ID. And we'll paste that on top of the original ID. And let's see if it gets the orange. Nice. Orange on both of those images. Great. It's that easy. You just pay attention to the cascading style sheet. Um, the cascading refers to how you see this ID drops down to that ID, drops down to that class, and that's how you get specific with CSS. Now let's pretend that we have other home message items on our site and we only want to affect the ones on this page. We can find the page class by scrolling up to the body and looking for something that's page specific. 
Since this page is labeled home, there's a home class right there. We can copy that, go back to our sources tab, and paste that, control, command, V in front. And now the CSS is broken, so we need to be sure that every time we select a class, we add a period before that class name. And great, we've got that hover effect only on this page, only within that ID, and only on home message. So this CSS isn't going to affect anything else on your site unless it falls within this area. Now after we've gotten the CSS written, what we can do to make sure we've gotten it correct is go to our WordPress dashboard, go to theme options, advanced settings, and find our custom CSS box and just paste it in there. If you want to make notes of what the CSS is doing, you can add a comment like this. And we'll just say home message orange hover and add another asterisk and backslash and that'll be a comment that won't show up on our page. So we'll hit save here and then we'll refresh our home page. We can close the developer tools. And if our CSS is correct, it should work. Great. It's that simple. That's how you write custom CSS for your site. Now, if you have any questions further regarding how you do this, feel free to post on the forums and we'll always be glad to help you out writing CSS for your site. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned something. Have a great day.